I'm helping my friend Mike Stadler invest in stocks for his retirement and there was something really important I wanted to tell him. I have two paintings in my meeting room. One is the painting that you see here. It shows the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in Arabic and in Chinese letters. Actually very interesting, in financial services in China they still use the Chinese letters because you can fake them less easily. <laughs> I have this painting here because it reminds me how important facts are in stock investing. But I also have another painting here in my meeting room. And that other painting is from a friend of mine who went to the Amazon to take picture of an Amazonian tribe. And when I look at these men, you know, they stand for power. They stand for emotion, for the mainly thing in us. And we have that too. We are rational, like the numbers I showed before, but we are also emotional. And I think it's really good to have emotions. It's really important in life, especially in your private life. But when it comes to stock investing, it's your worst enemy. And why is that the case? Well, your emotions completely take you in the wrong direction. When the markets go up, your emotions tell you that this is actually a good time to invest in stocks. While in fact, stocks have become overvalued and may actually be on the way back down. As a matter of fact, any news you hear about the company, like shocking news, like the exhaust scandal from Volkswagen, is already in the stock prices included. If you say, oh, Volkswagen has bad news and you're not buying the stock, you're buying it, you're not buying it for the wrong reason. Because as a matter of fact, it could be a good investment even though the news are bad. So I highly recommend to keep your emotions to your private life anywhere else than your retirement planning and focus on the facts when you make investments in stocks.